Week two of the 1966 season saw Purdue hit the road two hours north to take on mighty Notre Dame. Fresh off a great season opening win over Ohio, the Boilermakers were hoping to score their fourth win in five tries over the Fighting Irish. Things were looking good when sophomore Leroy Keyes, in his second career game for Purdue, scooped up a fumble and ran 95 yards for an early score. The Irish answered right back on the next play as Nick Eddy returned the ensuing kickoff 96 yards for a score to tie it up. Then the Notre Dame offense took over. A pair of long touchdown passes from Terry Hanratty to Jim Seymour put the Irish up 20 to 7 in the fourth quarter. Perry Williams made it a six point game after diving in from a yard out and the Boilermakers had a chance to complete the comeback when John Charles intercepted Hanratty in the end zone. But three plays later, the Irish defense sacked Bob Greasy, forcing a turnover. The offense then closed things out with a third hand-ready touchdown pass. Notre Dame 26, Purdue 14. The worst part of the day was starting halfback Lou Sims breaking his leg to end his senior season all too early. The Boilermakers returned home, one and one, looking to turn things around against Southern Methodist. But we'll get to that story next Throwback Thursday.